And there you go, chapter two. Damn, we overslept. M maybe they're just, you know, getting some breakfast. What's this? Oh, what's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Queen's blood? Queen's blood started that. What's this? You can now play the card game Queen's Blood. There's a card game in Final Fantasy VII? What the hell? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. <laughs> I missed the innkeeper. Your all stepped out. Oh, yeah. but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Nice. That sounds like there's gonna be a bunch of side quests. Finally. Rough hey, day Red. yesterday, huh? Oh, only my dog is waiting, waiting for, me. for me. I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. He's such a good boy. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Cool! Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Yeah, because now we can actually play with Red, right? He he's like an actual Ooh, party member. Party level: overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bond, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. In your folios. Man, like, dude, just look at this, and then remember Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> remember Pokemon Scarlet and how it looked. There's a nice breeze today. Come on, man. Okay, so let me see. If I remember correctly, the the weapon shop should be upstairs. L let's see if they change it or not. Or if it's like exact. Whoa! Hello! Is that a mill? Yes, it is. <gasps> oh my god, the weapon shop is in the exact same place. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. You like it? Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Upgrading weapons. It's just your weapon skills via the upgrade and blah, blah, blah. Raising your weapon. Okay, so it's the same as the, the, the last game. Weapons vendor selection. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels. But should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories. So be sure to check in often. Well, this is good. Look, I don't have money though. I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. I don't have money to buy the sleek saber. Man, I really want to explore this whole place. Holy oh, shit. Man, dude, I'm like a little kid, like looking at everything. How did they do it? How did they make Calm so pretty? Oh! Sewer level! What's this? What is this place? The Rusty Arrow! The most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of a Sector 7 plane. Oh, look, Barrett! Look who it is. You up already? He's eating pizza! 
<laughs> no, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. Wow, good man. Uh, first one's on me. First one's on me, okay? And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You gotta remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case. <laughs> Bonds of friendship. Cloud's actions affect his relationship with his allies. And the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view the comrade's feeling towards Cloud, as indicated by the symbols such as mm, and ah. Okay. Well Alright, so we have to well find well Tifa. Here, you know why Tifa! Up, don't you? Uh, morning. Morning, I'm morning. sorry. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Uh, the place I made the, that promise to you. Yeah, the place I made that promise to you. Yeah, there you go. Remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? It was like, yeah, light blue, With exactly. A bit of green in there? Exactly, yeah. Cloud. Exact. Good shit, Cloud. This Hell is yeah. Such a quiet, peaceful town. Where's Aerith? We gotta find Aerith. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice people. People here just say say hello to you and wave at you. That's pretty cool. Man, and there's no slums. That's crazy that this town is like so close to. Oh. I take it our equipment is in order. What it are you is. doing here anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. You're a good puppy. Good boy. I knew I could count on you. Yeah. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. What? Nowhere? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm... I should have said good boy. So where the heck is Zack? I don't know, Amon. I, I don't know. I, I don't even want to think about that right now. Right now I'm just taking it all in. Wow, look at <gasps> look at this. People are taking care of like hanging flowers and shit. Look how pretty this is. You, you know what this place reminds me of? Like with uh, with the amount of people, it, it kind of reminds me of. It, it's giving me the same feeling than the first time when I played Final Fantasy XII on the PlayStation Two. There was also like a, a giant city in that game, and the city was packed with people. And I was like, wow, video games are like, they keep improving. The graphics just keep getting better and better. Uh oh, why am I going to the sewers again? Hey, what time is it? It's almost time for me to end the stream. It's getting late. <gasps> I can swim! <laughs> what a glorious wall. Keeping us safe and secure. I could gaze wow. at it all day. Hey, look, it's one of those card perverts. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I saved you, lady. I saved you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why this is possible, but I did it. I saved this girl. Alright, I'll play cards Excuse with her. Me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oops. To admire the Bailey? It is I thought you were trapped. Well, maybe. You're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'd like to see you I'm try. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Dude, I Don't know this girl's voice. Emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me, because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. What the fuck? Are we talking about card games? All right, let's go. Uh oh, I don't know what card deck to choose. I, 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 this one. I choose this one. Oops, no, no, no. Yeah. Wow, son of a bitch. Bam, 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 bam. That is totally fine.
There you go. That's better. I'm trying to do my best to not let this guy develop. Can I put this guy here? Ooh, look, I can. Nice. We're kind of fucking this guy, aren't we? Just seems like it. Oh, yes, we are. He's gonna pass. He's not gonna be able to do anything. Or is he? Nope. We still got it. He can't do anything. We did it. We, we, we beat him. Oh, oops. more. Damn, look at this. We have a full board. He can't do shit. It's over. Paching. Paching. There you go. That's the way. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who yeah, are learn you? how to play. Deep down, I always knew. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe. But even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Oh, she's she's like, she doesn't want to play with anyone. She, she was holding up on that wall. Because she didn't want to play with anyone because she knew she sucked ass. That's what I do whenever whenever people ask me to play Halo. <laughs> Halo sucks. Aha, uh -huh. finally decided to Whoa. get up. Hello. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you, but if you're free afterwards, want to climb the clock tower together? Sure. Why sure. not? Let's. For real? Awesome. Your relationship with Aerith has changed. I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Okay. Well, that sounds good. And I'll be honest, I'm not impressed with the card battle. Tetra Master was so much better in Final Fantasy IX. And not just Tetra Master, it was also... What was it? I, I don't remember what the other one was called in Final Fantasy VIII. Ice cream. Ice cream. But I am happy. Cloud! Oh, over here! There she is! Let's get started then, shall we? <sighs> Sounds good. Whoa. Damn, the camera focusing on on her, like holding our hands. Finally, we're in. It's Follow Aerith. All right. So, um, Damn, she's fast. Did you hear that? Is that going to be a confession? No, that can't be. She's going to confess that she's in love with a dead person because she doesn't know that he's dead or not. If he's dead or not. Right? Whoa, look how pretty this is. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. But she's missing home already? Wow, it's so cool that we can actually see it. Funny, from so isn't it? so far away. How small it looks. It is far away. So did something happen between you and Tifa? What? Don't look uh, so shocked. We're roommates, you know. Oh, that's right. They had the the girl she talk. She something. 
Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Oh, I won't. Don't worry. Uh oh, what the hell? What? Wait, what? Why is Shinra here? Wait, Shinra actually came and looked for us? Oh yeah. Ooh. What? <laughs> They're coming down in parachutes. 18, 18. You know the drill. Fly these parachutes. Oh no, the A team. <laughs> it's gonna be Mr. T. Gotta be. I have a feeling that we're in big trouble. It's just a feeling that I have. All right, let's go. Wait for me, Aerith. What? Oh, okay. So that's why this thing was here. The end guy. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. But don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. Is he avalanche too? No violence, please. This town suffered enough. Come on. Mm -hmm. That went well. The end's not much further. But stay on your toes. I'm always on my toes. Always. Always ready. So there, there's gonna be like a whole section in Calm? That's kinda crazy. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. Down below in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also. Oh, I think he's talking about Chocobo Bill or B Chocobo this. Billy or whatever the hell it is. Is that the, P the PHS? It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic what? antique, but it still works. You'll get okay. more use out of it than me. Adam Transmuter, ten sprig, something. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, who the hell are you? <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Okay. Sounds good to me. Transmuting items. From the item transmuter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumable equipment, accessories, and more. Cool. It kind of makes Gil a little bit even more pointless, but whatever. I'm not gonna think about it. Tifa! Oh, you made it. All yeah. in one piece? Mm hmm. Sorry, we're late. For the love of. Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. Whoa! What? Uh. Well, that Don't was say the last that. One. 
least till things calm down. Don't say that like <laughs> when my girlfriend is listening. Got that? Yes, boss. Now, mm. let's move. <laughs> uh, wow, <laughs> I like that for for once Barrett is the adult. All right, let's move. Hey, what if there's Shinra on the other side? We're just waiting for us. What if this is just a trap? Is this gonna be a Skyrim moment? Oh my god, it's a Skyrim moment. Not Skyrim, it's an Oblivion moment. We're out of the sewers. Wow. Wow. Look at Just that! Look at it all. And we can it's explore so all of it! Nah, this is not real graphics, this is CGI. Yeah, this is CGI, no way this is, this is real graphics. I don't believe it. Living, is it? Planet. Oh, maybe it is, because it's some, some of the plants are, are like... Done to it, it's ...popping up. Going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. <laughs> left, go left, go left, right. That's what I do. But but first I check Google Maps and then I start walking. <sighs> And I also sing. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh, uh, really? We we can't go inside calm anymore. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. And there it was. The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. It's not really the first step. Right. The, the first step was whenever we we got out of Midgar. But sure. It's the first step in All this right. one, I guess. Let's get this show on the road, people. Damn, I'm I'm like uh, uh, just a little bit overwhelmed cuz it's like, holy shit. It's beautiful. I'm playing Halo with Diane, but I I want to watch this. No, don't do it. Don't be a fake Diane fan. Just play with her and be happy with her. Wow. I, I wonder if there will be a way for us to go back to Midgar. Well, n not to go like inside Midgar, but just, you know, explore around Midgar. Okay, dude, I love that all of our party members are like following us. I think that that's actually awesome. I thought they were gonna say something. Okay, we'll go on ahead, like in the original one, but no, they're just with us all the time. That is super duper cool. Th that's actually something. Oh shit! Uh oh, that's actually something that I always wanted in RPGs, like to be able to see every single one of our party members just walking around with us. I understood why we couldn't back in the day, but now it's like, look at this. We can do anything we, we want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm so happy that there's no fall damage. Damn, I I'm trying to see if I recognize places. I don't remember that beach. And what is that thing over there? That huge-ass tower over there. I wonder if that way is the Mithril Mine. Wait, was the mine a Mithril Mine? I don't remember. I just remember that it was a mine. You'd be Hello. the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. Wait, swamp? Ugh. Are you serious? Sure got to eat. 
need to be nice and plump. Why are we going to the swamp, man? I don't want to go to the swamp. The, the swamp... Swamp places are, are basically just the, the sewer levels of open world games. Yeah. Oh. Dude, is that like my spider sense? <laughs> the Mako energy is like my spider sense. Like, oh, my spider sense is tingling. I bet there's treasure this way. Oh, that's it's a chocobo guy. Hey, dude. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers, the chocobo oh, Bill. Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. <laughs> wow, he's just a perverted old man. He just wants Radio two hotties with him. Up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? He has a cool hair. Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. I, I don't like to be called out on my waifu game. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. All right, sounds good. Man, there's just so many materials everywhere. Like, I'm already wasting tons of time just collecting all the materials that I find. Oh! What? What? What's this it? Oh, look, there's a weapon chest. What, what is this? Ooh, it's the sleek saber. It's that, it's that sword that I was... I was gonna be able to buy in Calm. <gasps> there's monkeys? I just heard the monkey. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? Borrow a boat, you huh? Trust these rotting hulks? You mean steal a boat? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> it's not a bird, it's a chocobo. Well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Of course! Actually, no, we're not gonna rent. We're gonna capture one. Fine. <laughs> and stop bullying Cloud, man. Girls ganging up on Cloud, the poor guy. Wait, but can I try? What happened to getting chocobos? Oh, I can't try. Oh, what a shame. Oh, look, it's that giant ass bird! This guy can cast spells, right? Sorry, but we're in rush. True. All right, so this one I actually have to use excess because I've never seen them before. Let's see. Uh, an avian creature that prefers grassy areas. Grassy areas. It attacks by striking with its sharp beak and by hurting, hurling rocks with its prehensible wings. And it has nothing good to steal. That's good to know. And 
Ow, 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 ow. What was my button for the focus thrust? X. There you go. That's that. Uh oh, did it just use haste on itself? I think it did. Let's do this. No holding back. Uh, what was she learning? Dive kick, right? Actually, no. Let's deal with her. Try this. There you go. I, I stole Solaris from her. Good, good, good. Alright, let, let me see what, what Tifa was learning because I already forgot. Tifa is learning... Dive kick. Alright, dive kick. Don't forget about that. Wait, is that a mushroom? The Jade Wind Hill. What is this? Oh, I, I was about to say that this reminded me of the um, of that section in the original one where you play as a Moogle. Okay, you know what? I have a feeling that lots of things are gonna be unlocked once I talk to Chocobo Bill. So let's let's just go. Oh, this is the song. Pleasure to see you all again, and Hi. welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I, I do How did we see you, though? the market for some fine feathered friends, by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic Fairies to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? It's Gizal Greens. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, but impressive. You don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? And how much? Sure I kind of wasted all my money on material. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Wait, so your name is Bill and your grandson is named Billy? <laughs> okay. Oh, and there's the kid. Howdy. Howdy. Saw the He's American, I, I think. some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Pops. Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. Yeah, there's a bunch of These birds are everywhere. For. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> Whoa. The each? Thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, I actually did have all well, that money, there but is one other option. that wasn't the other game. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. Pico? That's a horrible name for a chocobo. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. 
But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. And we need greens too, the gizzle greens. And one greens. last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Did he mean like he's an, like an old man? Yes, yeah, that's exactly what he means. Businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Hmm. Okay. Well, what do you guys something? sell? Are you selling Gazal greens? Uh, you know what? Nope. Good luck wrangling Pico. All right, sounds good to me. Ah, here's the store. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks Whoa. about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Was there a girl in the original one? Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, yeah. not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. It's the guy with the Where beard. Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you oh. ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Oh, I, I thought that he was going to be the dad. These good folks business. But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Um, well, I, I kind of was going to spend money on the greens, but since you gave me the greens for free, I I don't really feel the need, <laughs> honestly. Shinra avian helmet, Shinra avian breastplate, Shin Shinra avian greaves. So we're going to be able to customize our chocobo. That's pretty cool. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. No. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh. A weapon chest. The timeless rock. Alright, boys, let's go. Oh, there it is. Stand back. Bingo. Stand yeah. back, everyone. Come on, y'all. Let's go Wish. bag us a chocobo. No, sh shut up. There it is. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. There should be a jump button. There kind of is, but it's like an automatic jump like Zelda. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing stones you pick up. Use L1 to aim and square to throw. Okay. Wait, so it's like Metal Gear? <laughs> Cloud. Oh, it said minigame checkpoint updated. Nothing. You saw nothing. Dumb birds. Birds are so stupid. Is he looking at me? I think he is looking at me. What was the button to throw a stone? Oh, here it is. This might be it. You picked up a rock. Good. 
How do I throw it again? Uh oh. What was the button to throw? Aha! It's L1, and then you throw! That was not a rock, that was a fucking huge ass boulder. Yay, what is it? a boulder! Aha! Calm down, boy, calm down. Give him the greens. There you go, obtain two gold plumes. Nice. What? No, they're not. Just because of the hair? What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. No, maybe he's digging. It's like Final Fantasy but IX's you know Chocobo. More? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. I can't believe the music. Do you know that this music is that that one song that we heard in, in Midgar? The you know that random dude. Like he made a song and was like, "Do you like my song, dude? It's I'm gonna be famous because of this song." And it was this, and we heard it. And it was it was trash, and it's still trash. I hope that the song actually changes to the Chocobo theme song, like the proper Chocobo theme song. And not this random mishmash of sounds and the Chocobo going meh, meh. Hey kid, I got her back. Or it, or him. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Not Good. Right. Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea. If Wait. We ask him nice. But ain't that right? We need more chocolate. Prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? We need more chocolate. It's not just one chocolate for me. It's got to be for everyone. Downtime, aka side questing time. Hmm? Chandler, hey there. What a pleasant surprise. Why are you following us? Shouldn't you be you, at your work in Shinra's you building? Me, don't you? Yes, it's fucking Chadley. Yeah, yeah. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detective wow, he looks so much monologue. better. His model looks a lot this better. Weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But what? to answer your question, he's I a took cyborg. Page out of your book and skip town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. What? That's what, what do you I mean know. he's a cyborg? Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The and that someone is you, huh? Around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Hold up. Hold, hold the phone. So you're a cyborg, and Hojo Inside created you, we'll right? Up. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that like tower? That's your first target. Why are you against Shinra then? And if you're a cyborg, you're a robot. It. What? 
as the towers close What if, like, our interactions are being recorded? I don't trust clanks. The only clanks that I thrust... Uh, thrust... <laughs> Whoa, I, was, I, I spoke the truth. The only robots that I trust are the pleasure models. <laughs> the only robots that I thrust are the pleasure models. Here we are. Yes. So is this an Assassin's Creed thingy or not? Mm. Wow, I think it is. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Ooh, you know what? That's actually nice. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. Again. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Well, I don't care. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. Yes, With it's your magic. activation Let's of go. this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Ooh. Hey, what, what, huh? Oh, wow, that's awesome. Wow, so it's a materia that has fire and ice. So I, I, I don't have to have like an ice materia, a fire materia. Wow, that's pretty cool. You know, I'll get the fire and ice just to give to Aerith. E even if I can get some unique items with Morph, I, I don't think I will need it at this, this early in the game. So maybe I can buy Morph later. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. Thanks. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Thanks. All right. A new summon entity is available in the combat simulator. Holy shit. Cloud. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Sounds good. Let's do the Titan one first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's this? Face off against a summoned entity in its full strength. Successfully analyze one summoned crystal to unlock this, this level. Oh, so I can debuff him, huh? Why would I, though? I'm not a pussy. It's over. <laughs> it's his ultimate. We, we're not going to be able to do it. Oh, my God. How did Eric survive? Oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah, it's over. That was like the Dean Rage or something. All right, cool. Cool fight. I, I got to I gotta get better. I either gotta get the the things to make him not as strong, or I just gotta I gotta get better skills. Endless replayability is the simulator's greatest. But that's cool, strength. cool battle. I hope it's, you it's won't a cool mind fight. my mentioning, but I've observed that World Intel collection is stalled of late. I'm Shut certain, up. however, a veteran mercenary like you would never abandon. Yeah, I, I don't know why I we know are. I can busy, hear you so well. I appreciate your help. Shut up. All right, let's go. Hey, perfect timing. Yo. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Ooh, nice. Press R1 to use your choco whistle and summon your bird to your side while you're out exploring. Notice you can only call a chocobo in a region once you have wrangled that region's bird. So, cool. who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Hey, is this just a trick for you to spend time with my girlfriend, too? Ch 
Charlie, stop following me. So here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Hmm. I, I think it just told us something about that future, you know? Like a, a, fu a future quest later on. There you go. Got it. Got my bird. What now? Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? So use the training grounds, build ranch to get the hang of the chocobo, and circle to jump. Wow. Sure, let's go. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Do not go against the poles. That's not what you want to do. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I see what's going on. All right, all right, all right. I see. I understand. It tells you the the rotation where you have to, from where you have to touch it. All right, let's just try. It. I see how it is. And poof. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, maybe. I right, never mind. Maybe I was just bad. Yeah, I have a feeling that I was just bad, and I didn't touch the pole off, like properly or something. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Thirty-one. Ooh, I almost got the first first prize. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then yeah. you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True. But moving on costs money. True. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Alright. Sounds sounds good. Let's go do some side quests, I guess. Dude. Look at Red, man. Look! Look at the dog riding the chocobo. Look at this! He's actually doing his best not to fall. How, how the hell is he holding the, the reins, though? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's go. It's a baby chocobo, look! Look how tiny he is! Will he give me something? How, how do I leave my chocobo? Uh, oh, I can kick with my chocobo! Ha! Choco kick! Choco kick! Ah, R1. Alright. Look at this little bu buddy. Look how fluffy his cheeks are. Why does he have that on his butt, though? He has like a little gazal nut on, on his butt. What a cutie. So this guy turns into this guy, huh? I see. I see how it is. <gasps> There's a cave? What is this? Is, it, is this going to be an Elden Ring cave? Secrets of the divine. 
find dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the Deiform entity. I'm counting on you. Okay. So how do I do that? Examining a summoned crystal will reveal its memory matrix. A series of, of points will appear in order, and you must memorize their position and necessary timing. The points will then disappear, and you must make inputs at the, at the correct times to replicate the matrix. If you succeed, you will weaken the summon in its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding materia. Uh, sure, let's try. Maybe then I can actually kill it. X, 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 okay. X, 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 X. <laughs> this is like uh, Legend of Zelda. The, the wolf, remember? You had to hear the the wind and then repeat the pattern. Cool. I did it, Chadley. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. It's kind of weird that this strengthens the materia, but it weakens the summon battle. Oh. My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's an awful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the feeds you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm Dude. picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, You'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. Amon, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's literally just Chadley with a wig. And he changed his voice. Feeds from this place. Variant identified. But wait, we are all almost dead. Just a moment, we're all almost dead. Uh huh, uh huh. All right, very interesting. What? Oh, it's a different type of rat, I see. Uh, a rare toxic rat variant. It ex its extremely aggressive nature and overwhelming potent venom allows it to remain undaunted in the face of creatures multiple times its size. I see. Here we go. Yeah. I don't think this thing has this. Good. What? It doesn't stop. You're done. There you go. <laughs> wow. Well, I was just cheating. I'm sorry. All right, let's pressure one. Uh, let's see. Let's try. All right, and now the rest of one is avoid being poisoned. All right, that's it. There you go. I did everything. Good. Mission complete. But is is that all? Oh, and I can retry the fight if I want. In case I fucked up. Oh. Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. 
Okay. Following Spring Seeker Owl will lead you to a life spring. It's oh, Could that oh, be a life stream. So that's what the the sound was. I, like I, I heard an owl, but I was like, oh, but I guess it's just an owl. I guess it's just a random owl going going around. Another one. New region intel is now available. Surveying live springs allows you to decipher the knowledge of the live stream, revealing regional intel. Okay. Sounds good. Crazy that there's live springs so close to Midgar. Since supposedly Midgar is sucking away all the life from, from the surrounding area. But okay. I'm not against it. This there it is. Better days. Much of the Republic's infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well, Shinra ain't about to spend a single deal on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war did. In other words, we gotta hoof it, cause Shinra's run by tightwads. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. You do you. I agree. I, I enjoy exploring the great outdoors too. Obtain play arts, rest spots. A play arts? What is a play art? Wait up, little one. Fast travel. Oh, I see it. Bam, 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 bam. Isn't this Zack's theme that's playing right now? Hmm. What's this? Area of interest. It should be somewhere in your vicinity. It may not be in plain sight, but I trust you'll be able to find it. Cool. Did you hear that? That that came out from my my controller. 